Okay, this is a teaser video because I've only got time for one take. All right, this is, um, this is about the Haynes family. This is about royalty. This is about Roy Haynes and his grandson, Marcus. But um, I think particularly it's the story of the symbol that Roy gave me back in 1960 eight or so when I was working with the Stan Getz Quartet when I first met Roy. And uh, that symbol, or this symbol, I should say, I'm gonna turn the camera around. Okay, we're continuing now. That's the symbol. And uh, and as you can see uh, here, see, Get a shot of that. See, in 1998, a long time later, Roy signed the symbol for me. This is the symbol that was uh, on the first Return to Forever album. Um, well, first of all, it was the symbol that was on Now He Sings, Now He Sobs. And that's when we were playing with, uh, uh, Roy and I were in uh, Stan Getz's band, along with, uh, along with Steve Swallow. Who, who got me the gig in the first place. And I like that symbol so much. I like the symbol so much. It worked so well with him. After he gave it to me, I encouraged the drummers that worked with me to uh, use it. So I had to use this on the first Return to Forever album uh, and on Light as a Feather as well. Um, Barry also used this when we played with Circle, with Dave Holland and Anthony Braxton. And um, then uh, Jeff Ballard used this when we played, we had the trio with uh, Abishai Cohen and Jeff. And I'm not sure whether Marcus played this. Marcus Gilmore is Roy Haynes' grandson. And, uh, but. Uh, but Marcus had some of his own symbols made. This is one of them. It's a different style. It's a little bigger, darker sound. I like it too. And then, and then um, Marcus signed it for me. I had him sign it, right? The grandson of Roy Haynes. That was in uh, 2015, right? So, so there's a little uh, royalty history here with these symbols, and then there's one more part to it. One more part to it. Which is this fellow. You see how similar this sounds to this? Dave Weckl uh, mentioned to me that Sabian Symbols might be interested in, uh, in producing a symbol similar to this old pasty symbol. So they took Roy Haynes' symbol, the original Roy Haynes' symbol, and they, they had it for a while, and they, they inspected it, and they cloned it, and came up with this model. And I think, uh, I think it's going to be called Royalty. This symbol is going to be called Royalty going to be a Chick Corea special uh, signature series royalty symbol. I hope it happens. And uh, Roy's, uh, Roy's legacy carries on. He's one of the greatest musicians that the music world knows. And as a drummer, my God, uh, he set a kind of a standard. There's no one quite like Roy. I have the honor of having uh, recorded and played with Roy on many different occasions. And the symbol kind of says it all. And I think Roy likes gongs too.
Hope you guys are all doing well. There it is.